Alrighty, what is up guys? Tony Torkel back at it again with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we're going to be facing off against Woom, baby. Uh, we're going to have ourselves a little bit of an RU match here. Super interesting teams on both sides. If you guys are hyped for today's Wi-Fi battle, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Let's get right on into it. Alrighty, let the battle begin. He's going to lead out with the Mian Shao, which isn't too great of a situation for us, but we're into the Crocodile. Um, this thing probably wants a fake out. I don't like don't like this matchup. I'm not a big fan. Tinkatung just kind of does things here. So we're going to go into Tinkatung. Especially if it's fake out. Okay. So. We get right on out of here going to Tinkatung. Try to get some Rocky Helmet damage. Depending on what he wants to go for. He is just going to go straight up for a close combat. That almost takes out the Tinkatung. How much Rocky Helmet damage is that going to do? I hope a lot. Oof, that does no Rocky Helma damage. Oh my gosh. So, in case he switches, I'm just gonna click Gigaton Hammer. Oh my god, why? Oh, he failed! I don't know how it failed there. Maybe it's because it's like a. I don't know. That's crazy. I thought Upper Hand did that, but. I had to read the description to get. Oh, it has to be priority. So he is gonna lead out now with the Entei. Um, can't really do much there. I'm just gonna go Stealth Rock here. He just hits me, right? Flame Charge gets a speed boost out of it, but we get some damage off. We do know he outspeeds the crocodile. He's life orb. Okay. So I think with that being said, I kind of want to T-wave it. Go in here with Az Elf. Hit that T-wave button. Pull this boy down. And then take it from there. Goes for a crunch. It does bring me down to my sash. But that's why we got that sash. And Zen's gonna be able to paralyze this boy as long as we make our move. There we go. And now this Entei is slower than molasses. So, at this point, I am going to uh, go for the Stealth Rocks here. Because I do want speed, I can get these rocks up for free. Well, Azel does die, but unless we get a para, we could get a para. Oh, there's a crunch. So we do get some more life or damage at least. Dude, I feel like I do still outspeed this thing. Even after a speed boost. I think, oh yeah, with the pair we totally do. Knockoff goes far in here. I think that's what I want to do is knockoff. Yep. We're just gonna click that knockoff. He is going to withdraw the Entei and go out into the Mammoth Swine, which is super interesting. Green Boy coming out here. And he's just going to take a ton of damage from this knockoff. Ooh. Knock off that loaded dice, so Icicle Spear won't be able to touch me as hard. But, without a Moxie boost, I can't really do that. Alright, we're going to go into Vape Nage, because I don't think that a knockoff kills. Kind of scarfed there, so yeah. Go into our vape niche, and he's just gonna play shard. I probably would have lived that actually, but I don't know if I would live too. But leftover is basically gonna heal me, and I can go for a free surf here. Um, honestly, call mine's not bad. I'm just gonna surf. It's free damage. He withdraws the mammal swim. Goes out into the slow, bro. This makes sense. This makes a ton of sense. I probably could have read that. Maybe. Eh. Surf's gonna come through. Do a decent chunk of damage. And I already know that this is probably going to be the same slow, bro, that took me out a while ago. And now I must defeat him. So basically, my plan to defeat this thing is to try to come in and hit him with a poison touch. And that's basically it. That's what I got. I can come in and just go knock off on him, though. 
I'm gonna do that. Why? Why not? Honestly, he doesn't. There's no way he's gonna scald here. We'll be able to knock off next turn. And Crocodile will be able to get that Moxie boost. Yep, he's calm minded. Perfect. And we can knock off these leftovers too, which would be huge. He might go into Mammoth Swine predicting the knockoff. I really hope not, though. He's got to switch here. Right? I think knockoff still play regardless. Let's go knockoff. He does stay in. I'm scarfed. He's gone. We defeated the slow, bro. Easy. <laughs> and we get a free Moxie boost out of it, which will now... We can fight that Mammoth Swine fair and square. So he brings in the Fortress. I'm okay with this. Because I can tear a fairy here. Because I feel like maybe he's got something up his sleeve. I'm going to go for that nice and powerful knockoff on this Fortress. Probably takes it a probably takes this boy out. Alright, so I put that fairy thingy on my head looking cute as hell for Valentine's Day, even though I'm a crocodile. And we're gonna hit that knockoff. Gonna do a ton of damage to Fortress, gonna knock off his Rocky Helmet. Which is perfect as he goes for a body press, which we tank because we Terran. Beautiful. I'm still stuck into the knockoff. I really want to get it though. If I can get another Moxie boost, I think I'll be able to kill with knockoff on whatever. <clears throat> There's the knockoff. It's a grit. Oh, that's huge. Ooh. Gonna get that Moxie boost. We are now boosted up twice now. Flygon's gonna come on in. Now I definitely outspeed and a knockoff should just do the trick. He's gonna Terra. What is it gonna be? Terra Steel. He might live. Oh my goodness. Puts the hatchet on his head. We still on speed, we go for that knockoff, and it just takes out the flag off with another crit! That is crazy. We knock off the boots and we grab another Moxie boost. <laughs> Goes into the Entei, who is paralyzed. Can't really do too much against me, and I just get to fire off another knockoff. Now watch out for that scarfed crocodile, man. They will mess you up. There goes a the life orb, and we get another moxie boost to boot. And I think Mammal Swine is the last one to come in to take a, a knockoff to the face. And that is going to be the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Videos are linked down in the description below if you want to go check them out. And they're going to pop up on the screen at the end of this one. Appreciate y'all a ton. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.